Seventh graders, this is the instructional video for the geologic time scale lab that we are doing on the long five meter register tape for the scale of the geologic record. So you guys already have your five meter long register tape and it's rolled up in the back of the room. Um, you're going to need to have that register tape out um, and then you're going to need either some tape or some of your science binders to be able to hold the ends down uh, as you're working because you'll notice that it'll kind of wind back up on you uh, if you don't have it held, held down. So either some tape or some bind, um, a binder or something to hold it down. And then uh, let's look at our, our document. Now I know you're not going to be able to see it perfectly here, um, but you should be able to recognize. I'll say the numbers uh, so that you understand what it is that I'm doing. And then I'm going to show you some stuff uh, up here as well that I'm going to do with the lab. All right. So first thing, it's really simple. Okay. We already did number one, which is just measuring out five meters of adding machine tape and cut. So you have that done. Number two, stretch out the adding machine tape on the floor. Tape each end of the adding machine tape onto the floor or a stable surface. So I already said you can tape it or you can put binders down. It doesn't even have to be on the floor, guys, because you're going to see you can work in sections as you do this. So you can do it on the tables, on the lab tables, and just do it by section, and then the next section and the next section, just kind of have it overflow like a waterfall off the side of the lab table and just work on the table itself. Or if you want to go on the floor, you can go on the floor. That's fine. You're going to use a meter stick. The meter sticks are in the back, and you're going to draw a continuous horizontal line, so that's lengthwise, about two centimeters from the top of your five-meter strip of adding machine tape. Okay? So what that looks like, okay, I have a, just a real little version of it here. So literally all you're going to do, and I'm going to do it in red here, so I have a real small little bit, and it can be approximate, but about two centimeters. So two centimeters, if you look, is not too far. It's like here. It's like there. That's about two centimeters from the top. And you're going to take your meter stick, and you're just going to draw a horizontal line two centimeters from the top. Now, I did it in red. You should just do it in pencil. Okay. But you're going to do that all the way down. So that took me like two seconds to do. It's going to take you much longer to do because you have all five meters that you have to go across. Okay, so work on that part and then come back to the video for the next step. Now that you're done with your uh, horizontal line across the entire 5 meter uh, register tape, the next thing is to do is to recognize what our scale is. And it set it on that same number of direction, direction number 3. Okay, and I'm going to circle it here in green. Okay, what it's meaning is now that your scale is one meter equals a billion years. One meter equals a billion years. I know that's kind of hard to see on here, but okay. Each millimeter then represents one million years. You might want to highlight or underline that on your own paper too, because that's going to be really important when we get to the step here with the table when you're trying to figure out your measurements on your tape. You need to know the scale. One meter equals a billion years, which means that every millimeter then represents one million years. All right, for your next step, you got to make sure, um, as we're following the directions here, it's going to give you specific colors to use. It's okay if you don't have those colors with you today, but eventually they do need to be in those colors. So if you're doing things in pencils today, uh, pencil today that says be for black marker or blue or red, um, eventually you're going to want to make sure you get at those colors, but it's okay if you don't have it for today. All right, so the next step says at the end of the tape, draw a vertical line across the entire tape and label it today using a black marker. So I feel like it's easier for us to do it on the right side. Okay, so I'm going to go all the way to the end of the tape here. And I'm going to take my ruler and I am going to just draw a vertical line here. The end, okay, and I'm going to label that today. All right. Then the next step, you go all the way to the other end of the tape. All 
draw a horizontal line and, and label it Earth's start or beginning. Okay, now here's the really important thing. I just by my model, I just went to both ends so that you could see it on the screen. Your tape is five meters long. That's too long for the history of the Earth because every meter equals a billion years, and the Earth has not been along for five billion years. So once you've done today, the line for today, you literally have to measure out 4.6 meters, then draw your line and write Earth's start or Earth's beginning. Okay, you just can't go to the other end because the other end, that's too long, and then your measurements aren't going to work. The scale will not work. It'll be too long for you. Okay, this is really important because if you mess this stuff up now, it's not going to work later on, and you're going to be w really, really far behind because you'll have to start over. So make sure you mark at the end, today, and then measure 4.6 meters, then draw your line for Earth's start or Earth's beginning. All right. The last part of that step after you've made your vertical lines, it says uh, on number five of directions, it says then fill out the, the data table, which is this. I do not want to give you too many directions on this. This is the part where I want you guys to really work through with your group to figure this out of how to complete this. I'm just going to show you a couple of things here so that you're aware, but I'm not going to give you the directions of how to do it. Okay? The one thing I want you to be aware of is that in bold, Okay, so these ones that are in bold, those are eras. Okay, those are eras. The ones not in bold in between are the periods. Okay, so you have your era, then we have our periods, like the ones we're doing in class, Cambrian, Ordovician, Solarian, Devonian, okay? Then you have your Meso uh, Mesozoic era. Then you have Triassic, Jurassic. So make sure you recognize it. That's important because when you look at the time periods, and MYA stands for million years ago, millions of years ago, when you see these numbers, it starts now. You might say, all right, 543 to 248 million years ago. Well, wait a minute. The next number goes from 543 to 499, 490. Why is that? Well, that's because these are included in the Paleozoic. Okay, all of these right here, when you add them up, okay, they should equal this. Okay, they should equal that because that, those, those are the years added together. Okay, that's the only thing I want to tell you. You're going to have to figure out the scaling uh, using your scale to make sure you recognize where the measurement is on the tape. Okay, so fill out that chart. That's the next step. Okay, make sure that you guys are working together on that. And if you need calculators, you ca use calculators if you need to, of course. All right, now that you're done with the chart, okay, it's time to, to go back to the strip okay, and talk about what it is that you're going to be la uh, labeling. And I want to make one change from what it says in their directions. Okay, so after you filled out the table, it says between the top of the paper and the line marked at two, two centimeters, so that line that you drew all the way across, Write down the time using a blue marker that applies. Right? Using a blue marker that applies. For example, Precambrian or Phanerozoic. So those are those these times that we haven't really talked about too much. Phanerozoic time for all of them. We're not going to do those. I don't want to mark those. I want us to mark eras. Okay. So we have our Precambrian. You'll mark in blue. Paleozoic. You'll mark in blue. Mesozoic. You'll mark in blue and Cenozoic. You'll mark in blue. And you're marking it right above that two centimeter line. Okay, So that's why we drew that line, so that we can mark the eras in. Okay? And then you're going to use your chart okay, and look at these era dates that are here. And you'll draw vertical lines to make those measurements on your tape and to designate those area, eras on your tape. Okay, to designate the eras on the tape. So just to be clear, okay, you're writing, you wrote down the eras in blue, okay, even though it said to write down the time in blue. So we wrote the eras in blue. Well, the next step says to mark the eras in red. Well, you just did it in blue, okay? So we don't need to worry about this, okay? We we did it in blue, okay? We did it in blue. 
So it's not necessary for us to do it in red because we're skipping these times because we haven't really talked about those. Okay, so you have your arrows in blue. So then the last step then for your chart paper, well, not the last step, but the last step for getting the periods done is to now write the period at the bottom of your paper with a purple marker. Bottom of the paper with the purple marker. So along the bottom is when you'll put in your periods. So you'll be drawing lines within that era to split up the period. Okay? So be careful. Let me erase all this. When you go to draw those period lines now and to label the periods, okay, let's say that I have pre Cambrian. Okay? And let's say that it goes to here. And I draw my line. If there was if there was a period within the Precambrian, when I draw my line to designate the periods, I don't go all the way up. I go just to this two centimeter line and I mark what the periods are. Okay, the names of the periods. Okay? All right, that's the next step. Okay, it's going through and getting the eras and the periods labeled. When you're done with that, come back to the video. All right, guys, now you're almost done. Okay, the big chunk of it's done. Okay, now what you got to do is there are some final labeling that you, that you need to do on your register tape, on your timeline. So I have some major events that take place in Earth's history. You need to write those in on your time scale in the correct periods okay in the correct periods and if you want to draw some pictures in there to to help illustrate it you can you want to use abbreviation that's fine because some of it might be kind of tough for it to to go in but you're going to go in and you're going to write in like when the first birds were or when the first dinosaurs and animal mammals appeared you're going to find all this information off of your document that we took as kids were t presenting to class their projects. You have those notes. Okay, you can also use the books uh, to help you. Again, it's around one page is 126 to 128, something like that, where they're going through some of the periods. They have some of that information on there as well. Or there's a big timeline, I think, on page 130 that can help you in your books. But you're going to mark these in, all right, on your, on your scale. When you're done with that, the very last thing for you to do is on a Google Doc, separate Google Doc, there are nine questions for you to answer. Answer those nine questions. You can work together, but everyone needs to have their own doc. Okay, you can collaborate, but don't copy and paste and share with each other. Um, answer those nine questions, and then go ahead and share it with me. All right, that's the end of the instructions for this lab. This lab obviously is going to take multiple class periods to get this done. Um, so even though I went through the whole thing right here, it's so that you have it on one video that you can go back to and look. Okay, well, get started, work with your groups, always use the video, go back to it if you need more help, and good luck.